so I am a couple minutes from having to leave to go to my appointment. I'm just going in my pajamas <laughs> because uh, it's my stomach I'm going to get worked on, so I need something loose and big. I don't want to wear a dress or anything like that. I've got a big old skirt on and um, my skeleton socks. But I'm fucking scared. I I don't get scared for tattoos anymore. Just the hearing the machine going doesn't do anything for me. Before it used to be as soon as I walked in and I I heard that zzz, I was like, <clears throat> and because I knew it's gonna hurt. Um, but I don't get like that anymore. Obviously, I've got so much stuff done. It would be kind of silly if I still got like really scared. But I guess because of the location, like I've I've taken a pad and I've taped it to my cooch right where it needs to be so that nothing pops out so it's just you know above my pubic mound but without my actual crotch showing and you know how to pull skin to tattoo skin and I don't want her pulling and then there's like my fucking cooch right in her face so I've got a fucking pad taped to myself and I've got underwear on and I've got um, tights on and I've got a skirt on so I'm just gonna kind of pull and pull and try to maintain as much decency as possible uh, I don't really worry about her seeing bits as much because I'm sure while she's tattooed, like, my octopus on my side and my chest, bits have popped out, you know, and it, you don't really think about that when you're getting tattooed and you're writhing around in pain. It's just like, oh, hey, your nipple's hanging out. I don't even care right now. It just hurts. Um, it's the fact that I'm embarrassed about. The fact that I, you know, she's told me that stomachs are notoriously hard to start with and since I don't have a flat stomach that it's going to be a little bit of a difficult area and just kind of I'm real sensitive about my stomach to start with I always have been and to have somebody this close to my stomach actually moving my rolls around doesn't really sit well with me but I'm gonna do what I gotta do and wish me luck I will check in afterwards I'm I don't think I'm gonna be able to film this tattoo getting done simply because of the area but we'll see what happens either way Super stoked, but super fucking scared. <laughs> oh, see you guys. almost forgot to make this video, but this is, uh, I guess, talking about the pain and such for my stomach tattoo. I tried to make videos getting it, and I've got some photos, and I tried to make a video of it right when I got home. Um, I'm not sure how much of that I will upload because this tattoo is very, very, very fucking hard for me. It's in a really unflattering part of my body. Um, it's just nothing but droop and loose skin and blubber. And like, I know really like loose skin isn't really loose skin as such. It's just like that, I guess, with nothing to hold it up. And, you know, I'm under no illusions that I've still have a lot of work to do on my body but that's like on me and on my shoulders in my life and not you guys so I don't want to fucking hear it um that is why this tattoo was especially hard for me because it's in such a sensitive area and by sensitive I don't mean feeling wise I mean more like it is the 
most flawed part of my body. Um, I was not comfortable putting myself out there and just having to kind of pull my pants down and pull my shirt up and tie it under my boobs and just lay there with my gut hanging out in front of my tattooist. Think, fuck, I go to the same chick and she knows me and she's known me at my biggest and my smallest and she's not going to judge me or whatnot. So at least I have that, but um, it's still not a part of my body, I would just walk around and be like, woohoo, look at me. Um, I wanted to get the tattoo there, like I said, because I've burnt my stomach and I really didn't like the way it looked. And then I've got lots of stretch marks there and just saggy. And then not only that, like I've got just an empty space, you know, I'm, I'm filling up from the neck down and then I've got like my bat and I've got my scarred and then I've got nothing. And it's like, hmm. I just, I just kept seeing this glaring white tummy just poking out at me and I really, really wanted something there. It's taken me a very long time to find the right design. It's something that I had planned for a very, very long time. Um, when I wear pants, you're not going to be able to see the whole thing, of course, because it starts like on my crotch uh, and then it goes up to like my belly button and, and then slightly above it because so it goes above the bat a little bit. Um, I might add something to it, maybe some blood red flowers or something, um, down around the chin area, I guess, because the design actually didn't even sit on the pooch that I was trying to hide in the first place. And so it's just like, it just goes down and then it's up here. And then my, my pooch line is like there. And I kind of want to disguise that a little bit with something and so I don't know, but that's going to take some thinking about because the design is nice as it is and I don't want to fuck it up because you can add to it, but you can't take away from it. So I'm going to give it some thought and some healing time. Um, but yeah, I, I personally love it. It is probably my favorite tattoo at the moment. Um, really, really, really love the way it turned out. It was perfect. It didn't take her very long, maybe three hours. Um, pain-wise, uh, it was a sharp pain. This, this one was really weird. It didn't feel like anything else that I've ever had before. Um, most of the pain kind of usually feels like I'm taking a razor blade and slicing my skin open, um, like a sunburn or like slicing your skin open over a sunburn. That's usually what my tattoos feel like. They fucking hurt. And I've got incredibly thick skin. And so, Tattoos usually have to go quite deep. There's a technique for putting ink in my skin personally. And if they don't do it right, what'll happen is, and this has happened to me a couple of times, which really sucks with people that don't know me, they'll tattoo me, they'll wipe, and my skin will just spit the ink right out. Um, the old wings that I had on my back that my second husband did, the shitty ass fucking wings, we went to Ozfest and I had long black and blue dreads on. And just over the course of the day, from my dreads, like just touching my back, um, all the ink bled out of my wings. So all I ended up with was an outline and they were filled in, but there was nothing by the end of the day, which is like, what the fuck? The Urkin symbol I've got on my back now from Invader Zim, he had a fucking devil of a time trying to put that tattoo in as well. He was like, fuck, every time I put the ink in and I wipe, the ink is gone. And he tore up my back trying to put it in. But this chick, she knows, she knows exactly what to do. And so she minimizes my pain greatly and the ink usually stays. Nine times out of 10, if I get a tattoo, I know it's gonna need to be touched up because my skin will still spit out the ink, just not as much as it used to. It is doable to live without a touch up, but it's preferable if I do get one. Um, so yeah, the pain, I don't know why I don't know if it's because there was just so much droopy skin down there or what but I could feel the pain and it hurt but it never reached unbearable levels um vagina top of the vagina didn't hurt um the worst area probably was directly under my belly button where the skin is the most saggy it just kind of all comes together like this and um there's just lots of wrinkles and just it's it's just paper thin loose skin there and um, that above everything else is definitely just skin because there's, you can just pinch it. it. It's like the back of my hand. There's no fat underneath that area in the middle. 
and that hurt the most, like the most, the most. The rest of it was bearable, sharp, but at the same time far away, if that makes any kind of sense. By far, it was way more humiliating to lay there and I'm here like with a hoodie on trying to pull the hoodie over my, you know, to my sides, hoping that I could like cover at least my sides because everything just kind of falls backwards when you lay back. And I'm like, oh, let me just pull the hoodie and hope to hide some of my fat. But it was just me and her, so I shouldn't have really worried. She never made me feel uncomfortable or anything, which is really cool. But um, I was just mortified. Oh God, like when I went in, I wore pajama top, um, tights, socks, a skirt over my tights, um, underwear, of course, and I took a pad and I peeled the strip off of it. I turned it upside down so the sticky side was towards my skin. And then I used duct tape and I taped it to my coach just so that it wouldn't move and like pop out and say hi to her when she was down there. Um, and so we were completely safe but I still had to have everything pulled down and pulled up as much as possible. So my whole midsection was exposed and I never, ever let anybody see that part of me. I don't expose myself like that. Um, maybe I might take photos, but I can touch up photos. I can edit them or stand a certain way to where I feel attractive or I, I feel like it hides my flaws, but to just be in the bright light in front of somebody else who has to focus on that body part and look at it it was really intimidating and it was really, really hard for me to do. So the tattoo itself wasn't as bad as it was to put myself out there like that. Um, I'll include pictures and videos, what I can. I'm still not proud of it. Like I said, I got this tattoo for myself for my own reasons. So it's not one I'm going to like just show off. I mean, not that I, you know, I got a tattoo. Like I've never been one of those chicks. I get it and then I get it and then it's just, it's there with my collection, but... Um, yeah, there's not going to be many photos of like the whole piece. There'll be photos of me with like skirt on or something. So you don't actually see the bottom bits or the bits that I, I don't want to show. And so, um, that's why I don't know what I'm going to put in the video, but hopefully this has helped. Um, I know that there are people, plus size people out there or whatever with belly tattoos, but generally from what I've seen, the belly tattoos stop above the pooch. They're around the belly button. They don't go down lower like the skinny chicks. The skinny chicks will have it right onto their fucking pussies, but the bigger chicks really don't. And that's what I was looking for. Those are the kind of pictures I wanted to see, something to compare where I was going to get mine. And I still haven't really found any. I haven't found videos. I haven't found photos. I mean, I know that they'll be out there because I mean, people, if you've thought of it, somebody's done it. But I personally haven't found it, so I'm putting this out there. So if anybody else that's not skinny is thinking about getting a tattoo there, maybe this will help in some way. And I uh, guess that's about it for this video. I've got two others to make, and then I will see you guys next time.